It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Strauss Breweries. It's the Reserva 2013 Bourbon Barrel Age. I'm guessing double X Ale. Actually, triple X Ale. There's three X's. Took me to see the, the beer backwards in the camera to see that, that triple X there. It was hiding away from me. Uh, it's, blue, it's brewed in Vletteren. Strauss, 10% um, ABV, sounds great. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. Plain gold bottle cap. 330 bottle. Loads of smoke on the opening. I was a little bit worried there that it was gonna kind of explode on me, but here we go then. What a lovely looking beer this is, oh my goodness me. Strauss, I've had quite a few of their beers. They're very good, wow look at that, look at that yeast. Floating round in that glass. Wow. There's loads of it there. It's a three finger tan coloured head, but it's a deep, dark, kind of ruby coloured ale that's hazy. But I've got to get, I've got to try and get this camera to. There you go, look at the amount of yeast in that beer. And of course, it's a Belgian beer. So with the German and the Belgian beers, you kind of get that yeast in. So, um, to be honest with you, I love it. I love all that yeast in there. I'm a lover of that. I, 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 I don't care too much for yeast in the glass. I'll, I'll just glug it down and happy go lucky, you know? Let's get the aroma. Oh my goodness me, that just smells absolutely fantastic. Yes, you get that bourbon barrel age, oaky, woody, whiskey, alcohol aroma. Oh, but on top of that, there's just this amazing, fruity, deep, it kind of sinks into your soul aroma. It's quite mesmerising. Oh, it's just a kick of alcohol. It's just oh, woody and bready. Oh, I, I, chocolatey. The alcohol, the whiskey just smells great. I've got to dive into this one. Cheers everyone. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. This has got to be one of the best beers I have ever got my hands on from Belgium. This is an absolute wonder to behold. The... Let's, let's do this, come on, let's just do this. The whiskey, the bourbon barrel, the oak, the woodiness, the caramel, the chocolate, the slight hint of coffee, the fruity hop finish. The rye, that spicy rye, the carbonation levels in the beer, just, it could be quite heavy. If it was flat, if it won the carbonated, as carbonated as it is, 
it would be big and fat and gloopy and and slouching all over your couch. It's not. It's like a lively kid bouncing all over your couch. And it needs to be. Because it needs that lift to get through that body. Oh my goodness me. I just, I'm just completely dumbstruck here. I'm just completely looking, looking, looking for, for words to, to just even get close to, to saying how much of a great beer this is. The spicy kind of bitterness on the back end, but that lovely, ah, oh, I'm lost for words. Completely lost for words. Come on. Right, it's that berry, that kind of deep, dark, mysterious forest fruit berry that you can only get from the corner of the earth where we didn't even know the forest was. Um, it's... It's a struggle. It's so good. It's so good. It's a struggle. I've mentioned the whiskey. I've mentioned the bourbon. I cannot speak enough. I cannot speak loudly enough about that, about that element of the beer. The, the barrel age process of this, of this beer. Uh, it just makes it. It just makes it. Um, the spiciness from the rye. The Belgium yeast. That triple... Ah, it's, it's blinding. It's absolutely blinding. Um, I'd like to thank my friend, uh, Real Ale 140. We were in the beer shop together in Cardiff. And he said, it's quite expensive, but pick a bottle up. And I am so, so glad I did. Because this is probably the best beer I've ever drunk from Belgium. I tell you that now. This beats the pants off every other Belgian beer I have ever tried on this channel. And it's got to be over two, three hundred Belgian beers that we've reviewed. It has to be by now. Um, all I'm going to say to you at this stage is let me rate it first and I'll tell you what I want to tell you. It's a whopping 10 out of 10 beer for me. Um, there's nothing I can take away from this beer whatsoever. I urge you, if you've seen this in your bottle shop, maybe lurking somewhere at the back of the shelf behind beers and looking a little bit lost because nobody's bought it, go and rescue that beer. Go and buy that beer. Buy whatever they've got in stock because you will be absolutely mesmerised by this beer. By two, by three, by four. Put one away for your Christmas lunch. This is your Christmas dinner beer. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe for our daily beer reviews and cheers.